Hi, I'm Eva Murphy from Electronic Engineering at IT Sligo, and this is my Leave Insert Maths Grinds channel. I'll regularly add new videos for both higher and ordinary level maths, so make sure you subscribe below and click the bell icon to be notified of new videos. Okay, this question, prove by induction that the sum of the first n natural numbers, 1 plus 2 plus 3 all the way up to plus n, is n times n plus 1 over 2. Okay, so it's it's part of the first type that we went through there, um, the sum of a series. Okay, so it's the sum of the first n natural numbers. Okay, so let's go through our steps. So as I write this down on the screen here, this is how I would write it down in an exam question, okay? I'm not writing down any extra here at all just because I'm just because I'm doing it for you. So show true for n is equal to one. Okay, so in these, we're always showing that the left-hand side is the right-hand side. So for one number in my series here on the left, that would just be the number one. That's my first term. Okay, so I'm just taking one term here when n is equal to one. And I'd like to show that that's equal to and I'm subbing in one now for n, okay? Okay, and if I was strictly speaking here at the front, I would have p of one, which is the case where I'm taking the first term. Okay, so I'm getting one here on the left is equal to one times one plus one over two on the right. One is equal to that would be two over two, which is one times one, which is one. Okay, so we have shown that the left-hand side equals the right-hand side for the case n is equal to one. So that is the first step in the proof by induction. Second step, assume true for n is equal to k. Okay, so that is just simply, I sub in k anywhere I see n. So on the left hand side, I'd have one plus two plus three plus dot 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 plus k. Um, and it's equal to on the right hand side, k times k plus one over two. OK, and that line where we assume true for n is equal to do n is equal to k is at the heart of proof by induction. OK, and the third step, prove true. For n is equal to k plus one. Okay, so on my left hand side, I have one plus two plus three plus dot 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 plus k. I always leave k in it, in it, okay, because as part of proof by induction, we always use this assumption that we've made here. Okay, so I want to leave k in it and I'm going to add on the next term, which is k plus one. Okay, k plus one is one term up from k. So that would be equal to, well, instead of k here now, it's k plus one. So I'd have k plus one times k plus one plus one over two. So just to show you where I'm pulling some of this from. Okay, that k there has been replaced with k plus one. that k there, again, replaced with k plus one. And you can see that's the extra plus one that I have here. Okay, so for this one, I am getting k plus one, k plus two over two. Okay, now I have to show that the left-hand side equals the right, okay? So I'm going to work from the left-hand side here Okay, I'm going to pop up here and do it at the top. So I'm going to say that one plus two plus three all the way up to plus k is k times k plus one over two. So I've just subbed in this assumption for this part of the sequence here. And I need to add on now my extra term, which is plus k plus one. Okay, so this is the left-hand side that I'm working on here. 
Okay, um, let's get a common denominator here. So it's all over two. So k times k plus one here, plus that's over one, one to that goes twice, two times k plus one. Okay, so I just got a common denominator. Let's, and there's a couple of ways you can go from here. You can do manipulation to show that this side equals this side, or you can simply multiply it out. Okay, and the easiest way for most people is to multiply it out. So that's what I'm going to do here. K by K, K squared, K by one is K. Two by K is two K, two by one is two. So I've got k squared plus 3k plus 2 over 2 there for the left hand side. OK, I hope that makes sense. I'm going to do the right hand side now. OK, which is this one here. I'm just going to multiply it out. That's all I have to do to that right hand side to show that it's the same as this one. OK, so k by k, k squared, k by plus 2 is plus 2k. And then plus one by k is plus k. And then back for plus one by two is plus two. Of course, that's over two. Let's tidy him up. k squared plus three k plus two over two. Okay, so I would conclude then that the left hand side equals the right hand side. Okay, therefore, so I'm on to step four now, which is my conclusion. And this bit is kind of, the wording is kind of standard for all of the questions. I've just shown that P of K plus one holds true or is true, assuming P of K is true. So what do I mean by that line? Well, remember I made this assumption that P of K or N is equal to K is true, okay? I made that assumption that that was true. And then I took that assumption and I subbed it in. Okay, so what I'm saying in this line then is P of K plus one is only true if P of K is true. And that's your proof by induction really there in essence. Okay, so P of K is true, assuming P of K is true. P of K plus one is true, assuming P of K is true. Okay, P of one, um, is also true. We showed that at the start. Therefore, P of N is true for all natural numbers. Okay, and I got that wording for there. And that is your proof by induction of um, the first natural numbers. If you've enjoyed this video, then why not join us in IT Sligo and use maths in practice. In conjunction with industry, we've designed an exciting new programme in electronics and self-driving technologies, which uses cutting-edge techniques such as artificial intelligence, computer vision and virtual and augmented reality. You'll need a H5 in maths to qualify. Check out the link below.